Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The title of this particular prophetic word says, You have invested in the wrong name, but your reward is coming as a king. Mm. You know, um, this is a very good prophetic word because it's, it's real, it's accurate, and it's specific. And this prophetic word is about a female. It's not about a male figure, okay? But if there is a male figure that is watching right now and you want to listen and connect yourself, I believe there are aspects that... You're always going to realize, no, and it's going to change you. Hallelujah. So the title of this prophetic word, I repeat it again. It says you've invested in a wrong man, but your reward is coming. So this is God speaking to a particular woman. This is God speaking to a particular lady. This is God speaking to a particular girl. This is God speaking to a particular female at this point in time. So one thing you must understand is that God sees, God knows, and God feels. What did I say? God sees, God knows, and God feels. Most of the times we live our life and we get to a place where we're feeling like, oh, God has abandoned me. Oh, God doesn't care about me anymore. Oh, God is silent on me. You know, I met a particular lady and I was speaking with her and she didn't know I was a pastor. And then we exchanged contacts because she said, in case I come across, across any job offer, I should let her know. And then she realized that I was a pastor later and she sent me a very long message. And then the lady said, she doesn't believe God exists. Why? She said, if God exists, there are a lot of things that she had to go through that she believed that God would have made her not go through those things. Probably the Lord would have covered her. Probably the Lord would have, would have protected her. You know, and then my response to her was, what you said is true. Or what you're saying about maybe you'd have had this protection from God and feel is true because it is your point of view. All right. Whenever somebody is giving their point of view, they are correct. Why? It is not your point of view. It is their point of view. So that is how to feel. And you cannot say, um, you cannot change how people feel. All right. So I told her what you're saying is correct. But I said, you don't know the stories of people. If you knew the stories of people and what people have been through, and they are still serving God and still believe that God exists, they still know that God is their all, as somebody like me, then you would understand. So most people want to give conclusion because they don't know our stories. They don't know that probably you're explaining what I've been through too. But the difference is you don't know I've been through that same situation. Probably you're explaining something that I've been through a worse place than you. But you don't know that I've been in that worse place than you. But I still see God as God, regardless and no matter what. And that is how you must see God. There is somebody I'm speaking to you right now. You got to a place of disappointment. You got to a place of betrayal. You got to a place of discouragement where you feel like you don't want to do this anymore. You feel like I don't want to get married anymore. You feel like I don't want to get into a relationship anymore. You feel like I don't want to trust men anymore. That is how you felt. Because you have invested in the wrong man. The Bible says he who finds a wife, he says finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. A woman is a gift, which means no matter what happens, you are a gift. And nobody can change that. You are a blessing.
There are some people whose eyes are not open enough to see you and recognize it, to see you and realize it. Now, guess what I noticed? There are people who live in regrets today because they let a good woman pass them by. There are people who are crying every day of their lives because they let a good woman pass them by. People have few chances. If God gives you the chance of a good person, especially a woman who loves you, a woman who loves you can do anything for you, can make any sacrifice for you. But once they turn their backs, they're gone. But guess what is going to happen? Every sacrifice is always rewarded. It might not be rewarded by the person you make that sacrifice for, but God who made sure that he rewards you in an amazing and in a different way. Now, because we are humans, it becomes so difficult for us to forget the ill treatment. Now, but the advantage of an ill treatment or a negative past is that you can better appreciate somebody in front of you. Now, I'm speaking to people who say, I'm, I'm healing and I'm getting out of this situation. That is what happens. You can better appreciate somebody who comes and love you genuinely and tell you, I want to be with you. I want to be honest with you. Now, but this only happens to people who have healed. Somebody can come to you who is genuine, but because of what you've been through, it becomes so difficult to trust that particular person because you keep feeling like, what if I get hurt again? So because of that, you want to guard your feelings, you want to guard your heart, and sometimes we lose good men, we lose good people. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Your reward is coming in the form of a king. A king is coming for you, and you will least expect that God could still pay you and reward you in this manner. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus that you are receiving your reward, your marital reward, relationship reward, a good connection a kingly connection is coming your direction in the name of jesus amen somebody type it on the comment section connect yourself make that confession say a kingly reward is coming my direction in the name of jesus a kingly reward is coming your direction in jesus mighty name amen god bless you in the mighty name of jesus amen please do not forget to pray for me as the spirit of the lord will lead you please do not forget to like share and subscribe god bless you in the mighty name of jesus amen now may the lord bless you may he keep you may he cast his face to shine in you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken look at me i love you so much i do i love you if nobody ever tells you how much they love you i ethel i'm telling you right now that i love you so much god bless you amazingly and god bless you abundantly i love you so much shalom